It's your boy ZTRD bring y'all a whole nother video. So this how to video is gonna be basically, you know, showing y'all how I make reaction videos using my MacBook Pro. So obviously the first thing you want to do is make sure your software is up to date, you know what I'm saying? Make sure that you're running the best software that you can. So step number one, all you wanna do is is open up your QuickTime viewer. So you know when you open this up, it's gonna show like a little folder. And like once you get that photo little pop up, you just go to file, and then you wanna uh, go to hold on, click on this again. So once your quick time player is actually up here, you just wanna click file, new move recording. So when you first open it every time, it's gonna be like this little photo thing and like showing all your files and stuff. But just click new move recording. So the second thing you wanna do is while you're on a uh, quick time movie player, make sure it's showing up here. You wanna go to view, and make sure you float this on top. Just let that that way this thing right here it'll float on top of whatever you're trying to view or react to so uh the second step you want to do i'm about to go through the settings so the way how you record your screen is you want to hit command shift and number five so you get this things pop up right here right so my settings that i have set on <clears throat> i always save my screen recordings to my desktop Simply because it's easy for me to find, you know what I'm saying? It's easy for me to actually work and get through and all that, you know what I'm saying? And then have a timer for five seconds. And then for the options, I always show the floating thumbnail and remember the last uh, selection. And there's another thing in here. Make sure that your built-in mic is actually being used. It's an option in here, like when you first set it up, that uh, it should say something about microphone settings. And make sure you click that mic. To be on because if you don't you're gonna be like me thinking you're doing something but you're not you just making reaction videos and no sound and you cannot get sound on there if you're not using your built-in computer microphone you will not get no sound from it so that's one thing to look out for make sure that the mic is always on because if you're not you ain't making a reaction videos you're gonna just be sitting here doing voiceovers <laughs> anyway man so let me get to this good old settings for YouTube you know that I use so far I'm still learning so I just use go I use Google Chrome for this, and uh, I used to, this is my old style. I used to go like this a lot, regular the regular view. So if you go on YouTube and click on theater mode, you get more of like a full screen. So I'm gonna start doing that on my reaction video. So if I was to react to this video, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just go ahead and start playing it. You know what I'm saying? I this it's kind of low, but you know, say if I was to react to that, you know, you just you know talk, you know, you know what I'm saying? Do what you wanna do. And then make a little comments here and there, but that's how you make a reaction video. That's how I do it. You know, it's real simple. You know, so that's how I make a reaction videos for uh for MacBook Pro. I'm not sure how you do it on uh iPhones and tablets and iP iPads and all that. I'm pretty sure videos teach you how to do that, but that's easy for me because like once you make the actual video like that, all you really do is go to like iMovie and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Let me see if it's gonna do it. Oh, it's actually working. All right. So let's say I want to react to that. You know, I got one pre-recorded already. You know, that's going right now. So let's say I was reacting to this video, right? You see how my thumbnail still in there with me talking and stuff? It's gonna be all clipped in at one thing. So really, all you gotta do is just really just add your, you know, intro, outro, and then like you try to add like little little thumbnails at the bottom like with the edits and stuff like with the words and all that you can do that too but I mean that's how I made my reaction videos you know it's real simple using the MacBook Pro it's not too much editing the most editing I do is just really just doing take one through five kind of messing up a lot you know what I'm saying but anyway man that's how you really do it so step one make sure that you open your quick time player step two once you're in your quick time player on that little drop down menu hit file then do no move recording then you go to the view tab, make sure you float it on top so it look like this, how I'm doing it now. And then go uh, click Command Shift 5. It don't have to be simultaneous. As long as you know you hit, hit all those, Command Shift number 5, then it'll work. Just make sure you have your microphone settings on, and then you just want to record your entire screen, and then click record, and then you're good to go from there. But yeah, man. That's a wrap up for this video. It's the how I do my reaction videos. I'll be doing a whole lot more for y'all, you know what I'm saying? My channel pretty diverse. Make sure y'all like them and subscribe. I do car videos, I do live game streams, live streams, you know, reaction videos. 
and pretty soon I'm gonna do something else I ain't gonna say it, but y'all gonna see the title when I once I start doing it. You know, that's 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 coming real soon to the channel, so I'm a real diverse channel. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Share the video and appreciate y'all for checking in. Peace.